In this video, we're going to take a look at installing brushless motor and the Emacs ES3054 servo to my WL Toys124019 speedrun car. So in the previous video, we removed the standard brush motor, pinion and the motor mount. Um, using Bertha so we're going to put her out of the way and in this video we're going to install it back in to the WL size 124019 now I was going to put my adjustable mount in that I've made but um, one I need to clean the markings off it and two I'm going to try and run standard gearing on this one for a while and then I'm going to use this one uh, when I change to mod one to give me a wider scope for the gears I can use. So what we need to do this is a little bit of Loctite. Got blue Loctite 2400 for the um, screws for the motor mount and the pinion. So we're going to mount this onto here using the original hardware. So the original screws to here. So what we do is we need a dab of thread lock. Now you don't need to go crazy because you may want to remove it at some point. And then you don't want to have to use good old Bertha. So we'll start that one off, tiny little bit on this one, in there, now you can choose where you want to use the screw holes for where you want to use the mount. So I want the mount to sit there and this sitting off so it's not against my top plate so that I've got room uh, to move the wiring around. So now that's in there, we need to bring the car back over. Just clear a space. Hope everybody's well. Doing good. So, need to fit it back in here. So what we do with this is, we take the <coughs> motor mount, we need to put the pinion on. But what we need to do is, you can't just screw this on willy nilly. You need to take the grub screw out. Dab a lot tight, there you go. This is reusing all original hardware. So we'll start off, and what we do is we place it on there so that it's just pushed on because we need to set the mesh. So we hook it round like so and um, then what we do is we put the two screws in from underneath they're there to hold them out in place so then we can set where we need the pinion to be so again have a lot tight and then we'll tighten it up. Oh, it's hard to keep it in one place and hold them out. There we go. So, where's that one in quickly? 
won't tighten all too tight. What we'll do is get that one a little bit in. And then we'll get this one a little bit in. Like so. And then we will tighten it up. And then once it's tightened, you can flip it over. So don't worry, the won't the thread lock won't set quickly. So just leaving it 24 hours before you start doing anything with it. So I'll clean off any excess, flip it over. So the meshing isn't too bad there. We need to move it back slightly. So we push it so it meets nice. Maybe a little bit, yeah. There we go. So it's centralised. So it's all good. There we go. Must be doing something catching. So once we've got it set, there we want it. Like so. We can tighten up the grub screw. So what I do is I use the long end till it gets to the point where it's going to tighten and then I remove it because you snap these off and then I use the full end to tighten it up like so Once it's tight, like so, that shouldn't move at all. So that's good. Everything moves nicely. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do now is we're going to fit the Emacs ES3054. So, we get the holder again that we removed before. We slide it over and these two retaining lugs sit there so it holds it nice and nice and snug. Now there's four holes there, two for screws, two for your lugs. <clears throat> so then if you it's got a massive wire, but if you locate it so that they're in and it doesn't move, you can then flip the car over whilst holding the servo. And then you can replace the screws. Just like that. That's the Emacs ES3054 fitted. This will need some cable management because the receiver won't be halfway across my table. Um, I use the four way plastic horn that comes with it and trim off three of the, the ends so it fits nicely. So we put the Cover back on. We then replace the bearing holder. And then the top plate. But you will notice on when you're fitting these that it sits on a lip. You have to move the diff slightly. So what I do is I put the four capped screws back in. I'm not using thread lock in the metal because there's just no point. It's, it's not they're not gonna fall out. So don't tighten them up too tight. Just get them to the point where they're in. Same on the front. So then 
tighten these up, these four. And you'll see front and back that it doesn't line up. And you have to move that slightly, pull it, and it drops in. I think it's to give it a bit more pressure with the extra length to keep it taut put a bit of resistance in so it doesn't flex as much so once you replace the screws into the diff covers that is job done we've installed brushless motor and the Emacs ES3054 servo. As easy as that. So, in the next video, we'll install the receiver and the brushless ESC. I have got some custom parts coming for this, um, which will change the look of it dramatically. So, we they'll be coming up in a future instalment which i'm looking forward to showing you guys out there so thanks for watching check out some of my videos check us out on facebook at big bird rc we've got a wl tires 144001 speed run group as well which is uh, gaining good momentum got some good uh, off-road high speeds on there so come and check us out thanks for watching Take care, everyone. Remember, if you like what you see, subscribe, hit the bell button to be notified of any future videos.